。好，跟住咧就去到二零一四年嘅第一條題目啦。咁啊又係好直白嘅，就係、是、問我哋咧邊一個過程係一個 catabolic activity 一個分解代謝啊。咁如果你係唔記得嘅話啦，咁啊提一提翻啦，一個 breaking down reaction in an organism， 咁啊將一啲咧複雜嘅嘢咧變成簡單嘅嘢，而過程當中咧係會放能量嘅。咁啊～誒隔離呢幅圖啦，就係、是、一個 catabolic reaction 嘅概念啦。咁當然啦，其實咧喺呢度咧，仲要再提多一樣嘢嘅，就係、是、呢個拆嘢嘅過程咧，就唔係一個、呃、physical 嘅改變，即係唔係話嚼嘢哦，你咬爛嚿魚蛋就叫做分解啊。咁呢個咧係隱含咗咧係一個叫做 chemical reaction 嘅意思，因為始終咧。佢屬於 metabolic activity 啊嘛，係一個新陳代謝嘅作用嚟嘅，咁所以佢應該係一個咧化學反應，就並不是咧一個物理上轉變嘅反應。嗱，咁呢一樣嘢一定要提翻先。咁另一樣嘢想提咧，就係二零一三年嘅第六條咧，其實就係問咗 anabolism 一個合成嘅代謝。咁但係今次就問分解代謝，都好合理啊！一一年問分解，一年問砌嘢係咪？好，咁而家啦，做咗擊破咯。第一個 conversion of glucose to glycogen 啦，咁呢個呢就係錯嘅。嗱 ，glucose 呢係細粒嘢嚟嘅，單糖嚟嘅。咁但係 glycogen 呢就係多糖嚟㗎嘛，係黐埋咗㗎嘛。咁當然咧，佢已經係新嘅東西啦，再加埋佢已經係一個砌嘢啊。咁所以啦 ，A 呢其實佢係屬於。anabolism 嚟嘅添，咁所以啦 ，A 就已經錯咗啦。B 啦 ，absorption of glucose 就係純粹吸收啫。咁吸收會唔會砌定拆啊 ？OK， 冇講砌，冇講拆，純粹就係話有一粒粒嘅單糖咧，就俾人吸收咗咧，去咗血個樹啫。咁所以亦都唔會係答案。跟住啦，去到 C 咧 ，emulsification 乳化啦，同埋咧。有啲啦，就係咧將個澱粉質咧就係消化啦。嗱，呢兩個過程咧叫叫地糊啦，因為咧都有少少拆解嘅概念啊。咁但係啦，脂肪嘅乳化咧，純粹就係由一粒大嘅油點變成細粒嘅油點。從佢個化學概念嚟計咧，佢仍然咧都係 fat 啊，或者我哋叫 oil droplet 啦。咁但係啦，佢仍然都係講緊咧，一個 g y s e r o l 撚住三條 fatty acid chain 嘅。佢係冇變過嘅，嚇由始至終都係一個加速撚住三條 fatty acid chain， 咁所以啦，佢係冇一個 chemical change， 而反而咧佢只係一個 physical 嘅 reaction 嚟嘅啫，咁所以啦 ，C 咧都係錯嘅，咁所以答案咧就已經係 D 嚟嘅啦 ，digestion of starch， 咁因為 starch 咧澱粉質係一個多糖嚟噶嘛，咁啊撚住啦，好幾粒啦，總之就，我哋將澱粉質消化啦，就可以將佢變成例如呢、這個。麥芽糖啦 ，meltos 啦又或者啦，到最後尾咧就變咗做一粒粒嘅單糖啦。咁其實真係一個拆解，而亦都係一個 chemical reaction 嘅例子啦。Let's take a look at the question one of two or one four questions. So it's talking about which of the following is the catabolic process. So actually in two or one three, there is another question is asking the anabolic activity. So one year anabolism. One year catabolism, very fair, right? So catabolism definition, you really need to recall it first. So the idea is that catabolism refers to the breaking down reaction in an organism. So particularly, the compressed molecules are broken down into simpler molecules with the release of energy. So this part I would like to、uh, mention is that it should be a chemical reaction. Rather than a physical reaction, for example, the digestion we learned it before chewing, we chew the fish ball, we chew the meat. So of course we really break it down, but just from the big size to the small size. So that's why it's not really a chemical digestion. It's just a mechanical physical digestion. So it is breaking down. But it cannot be regarded as the catabolic activity. So that's why for the、uh, options A, B, C, D, let's take a look. So for the first one, conversion of glucose to glycogen. Of course, it is wrong because from glucose it is a simple one, and then for the glycogen it is the、uh, compressed one, larger one. So that's why it should be a anabolic activity. So it's not the answer. And then for option B. Absorption of glucose. So absorption is just talking about we absorb the glucose into the blood. So that's why it's neither catabolic process nor anabolic process. And then for option C and D,、uh, both of them it seems like a breaking down reaction. But which one is really the catabolic activity? So the concept of emulsification of fat is talking about we have the large oil droplet. And then we break it down into small 
oil droplet or fat droplet. But for the chemical form, it's still the glycerol with free fatty acid. And in the small oil droplet, it's also one glycerol with free fatty acid molecules. So that's why the chemical form, it doesn't change at all. So that's why for the emulsification, it's not the chemical process. It's just a mechanical digestion. So that's why it's not the catabolic activity. And for the option D, of course, it is correct. The digestion of the starch. So for the starch, of course, it is compressed one and then bigger one. And then we digest it. Maybe we can digest it into the mouth holes, the disaccharide. So you can see that the chemical form is also changed. And then maybe some starch are broken down into melt holes and then the melt holes will be broken down into glucose. So that's why the answer is D.